Let's get out of there, let's turn the DOS machine back on, and let's continue. What's out this way? This is a one-way ledge. So I can't go that way. This is another one-way ledge, so that will bring me back to the beginning, which I'm not sure if I want to do. Um, so I'm going to go out the- oh, come on, what's with all the one-way ledges? Alright. I guess that makes my decision-making a little bit easy. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and loop through this entire Victory Road again, aren't I? Also, I could have gone and, like, went back to Nurse Joy and healed instead of having to go and, um, like, use all those items, but a little late for that now, as I say a lot. Um, by the way, since I did see the one-way ledge over here, it's actually possible. It looks like it's not actually possible to have to jump down that, which is kind of funny. I don't know if I'm just missing something or if that's, like, a, a small error in map design. Anyway, this... Alright, that doesn't go uh, up to the other... Like, these two ledges don't connect, which is a shame. Um, I also could have just gone and waited for uh, myself to run back to the doctor to heal. So that's a thing. Um, is there any other thing that I can do, like, out this way, by this uh, veteran dragon tamer guy? What's your trainer class called? I think he's a veteran. I think there were dragon tamers in previous generations, but not anymore. Um, yeah, if I missed anything, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't and uh, continue with Victory Road because this is very long and I do want to get through this within like five videos. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, strength puzzles. Strength puzzles. So th this first part is easy. All I have to do is push this boulder into that hole and that will open up two paths forward. Uh, I can't go to the left yet. Hello, Ranger! like as soon as I finish pressing the button that if it's an elemental monkey it probably has acrobatics. Um, the only elemental monkey who it's really a good idea for uh, superior to probably face uh, would be the water one because their defenses are so low and the plate exists. But anyway at least I got through that one without any fatalities. Now this looks kind of final area-ish but if I recall correctly I think it's actually not. I think there's actually uh, quite a bit of victory road still remaining. And that is totally not half of his order arc over there. Anyway, black belt, black belt, black belt, black belt, thank you.
course you have Ice Punch, because why wouldn't you have Ice Punch? There's nobody up here who's scary looking, I think. And on this rock, there is something. Please be good. That is a normal gem, so if I wanted to go boom, I could attach the normal gem. I think I actually already have a normal gem. Hello, cat. Um, but I don't have anybody who can even learn explosion, so it's uh, not really worth it. Ah, uh, that is a trainer. That is a trainer. It's trainer time. I don't feel like turning the Dallas machine back on. Anyway, please be less scary than a meta jam with Ice Punch. I was a little afraid Mandibuzz was gonna outspeed Dragonite and kill me with something with like plus three special or plus four special defense. Oh my god, thank you for bailing me out once again, Amygdala. Alright, um I'm starting to get the feeling that like I was complaining about Rist being useless for most of the game early on. Um, Polyrath, and uh Liver was kind of carrying me through a lot of battles because Liver is just really good. And I feel like we're having a bit of a role reversal right now, where um, it's Wrist who's really good with close combat and everything, and it's Liver who's just kind of the uh, the one like stuck in the mud. Anyway, if I can finish healing up a little bit faster than this, that'll be great. Because I'd really like it if I didn't have to like heal up my entire party. Almost there. Thank you very much. All right. So everybody's back at almost full health, and here we go. Um, let's see. Oh look! Stairs! I think this is like the final climb, except I think there's also like a ton of Victory Road left to explore, so it's not really the final climb. Um, there was definitely a Zoroark down here, right? That is a Dragon Fang, and that will, what, boost the power of Dragon-type moves by 10%? Um, I thought it was guarding this little hole in the wall, but it's not here, so I guess it isn't. Um, Nothing hidden. There is this non-hidden item though, which is a dragon scale, which will evolve a couple uh, a couple Pokemon, either when they're traded or in this game, I believe when they're just used like a uh, like a firestone or something like that.
I finally learned to call like ice beams on Starmies. How nice. I am running out of revised moon milk yet again, which is a bit annoying. I have just used that many of them. I'm probably starting to run out of max repels too, to be honest. Um, I've just used so many of all those kinds of things in, uh, in this area. Okay, so this is where the Zoroark is hiding out. Not the, uh, I believe the cave above where I was is where I was looking. Although I can't see it from here. Anyway, um, let's see, let's go back to where I was. My nose is itchy and I don't want to itch it because I'd like knock my headphones off my head. It'll make a really obnoxious noise. Um, anyway, where else is there for me to go? There's this cave. Also, there's, a uh, something on a rock down there, which I can't really tell what it is. Alright, whatever. Ooh, Flash! Do I have the HM for Flash? I, I'm, I do have the TM, excuse me, for, uh, Flash. Um, because I know I used it in Mr. Alton Cave ages and ages ago. Where is it? I really want to itch my nose. I'm gonna cut away to teaching somebody Flash temporarily and then itch my nose. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of Earthquake on Superior, and then I'm gonna actually try something. I'm gonna try, uh, using Flash, and then reteaching Earthquake immediately and seeing that kills the Flash effect. Because I've never done that before, and I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Um, if it does work, and I do get to keep the Flash effect, even though Superior doesn't have it anymore, I may have just found out a really nice way to abuse the Gen 5, like, reusable TMs thing. Now I just have to find Earthquake again on this list. It's like 25, isn't it? 26. Alright, I was close. So, we're going to teach Superior Earthquake instead of Flash. And... That just happened, and if the Flash effect is gone, I've just wasted a minute of my time, and if it's not gone... Oh, wow. That's nice. So, you don't actually have to have Flash in your party to have the effect work. You just have to use the move. That's nice. I like that. Um, let's see, the Thousand Machine was going off, but first I want to pick up that Reaper Claw that will evolve a Dusk Lops into a Dusk Noir. Or Dusk Noir, or I'm pretty sure it's Dusk Noir. Um, Brian speaks French, I'll have to ask him. Uh, let's see, what else is there? There's Before I jump on that surf, I want to explore the rest of this part, the, uh, the left side of this uh, room. I think this will go back to that one, um area in the, the forked path. Oh no, I was gonna say, I, was, I think it's going to run back to this over here on the right. And um, that would let me uh, push that rock back into the middle and have a better passage forward, but apparently not. Um, I don't remember how to get there. Sorry about that. I don't remember how to get there in that case. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna get through here without using Flash, because I know I've done it before. And I might end up looking really stupid on recording, but I really don't feel like spending the like five minutes going and doing that whole trick with uh, like TMs and stuff. This is a rare candy, a bl obligatory mention of how I've hacked a hundred of them into my save file and I don't really need any more. I don't think I'm going to be using any more rare candies in, um, in this game, because I think I'm at the point- alright, I'm standing on it. I think I'm at the point where uh, like, the level curve is going to keep pace with itself, no matter what Drayano does, because if Drayano decides to, like, throw in something stupidly high-leveled, I'm just gonna get it- I'm just going to get a ton of experience from it anyway. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I just didn't go anywhere. Alright, well, I don't see the DAS machine going off anymore. And, let's see, is this... This is back where I started. And I don't want to be back where I started. I really should probably... Alright, this is just... Screw it. I'm just gonna go and throw on Flash again. Hang on. 